हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू पवन पुरी स्पेज टॉप एंड टू अनदर एक्साइटिंग वीडियो ऑन बैडमिंटन एंड एज द टाइटल सेज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंपेयर द लीनिंग जी फोर्स थर्टी नाइन हंड्रेड सुपर लाइट बैडमिंटन रैकेट विद द योनिक्स एस्ट्रॉक स्मैश सो बोथ दिस रैकेट्स आर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर एंड सर्च रैकेट्स एंड द कैटेगरी ऑफ फाइव यू एंड सिक्स यू रैकेट्स ऑफकोर्स आफ्टर द थ्री यू एंड फोर यू कैटेगरी रैकेट्स and uh, we know that there is a tough competition uh, in these uh, category rackets like we have the uh, nano ray 18i uh, the 9i 8i then we have the arc shabo 69 arc shabo 10i 59 and so on so um, it becomes all the more important uh, to make a comparison between these two rackets so without wasting time let us get on to the comparison uh, between these two rackets and uh, we will start with the specifications of the yonix astrox smash So if we talk about the frame uh, it is made of high modulus graphite and tungsten and the shaft is made of high modulus graphite and uh, nano mesh neo this is something uh, this is uh, spread across uh, most of the astrox series rackets uh, if we talk about the flexibility it is a medium flex racket and if we talk about the weight it is 73 grams without the strings and the basic yonix grip and uh, talking about the grip it is a g4 grip Talking about the length of the racket, it is 672 millimeters plus minus two to three millimeters. Uh, talking about the string tension, the maximum string tension is 28 lbs, and the balance point is 300 mm plus minus three millimeters towards the head. And the product is made in China and is available with full cover. So let us now talk about the specifications of the Leaning G Force 3900 Super Light Badminton Racket. and uh, talking about the frame it is made of ultra high carbon graphite and uh, the shaft is also made of ultra high carbon graphite uh, if we talk about the weight it is 79 grams without the strings and the basic uh, grip that is provided by leaning well if we talk about the flexibility of the racket uh, it is a medium flexible racket and if we talk about the grip it is uh, an s1 grip racket which is similar to uh, the g1 g2 in yonix Well if we talk about the length of the racket it is 670 mm plus minus 2 mm and uh, the string tension range is 22 to 32 lbs and the valence point is 296 mm plus minus 3 mm towards the head so the racket is head heavy so if we talk about the make of the racket it is made in china and is available uh, with full cover and if we talk about the cushioning of this racket's cover uh it is much better i would say uh, than what you get with the yonix astrox smash as we know that the mild festive season is still on so there are some deals available so as always i'll share the latest links in the description section below uh for both these rackets and whosoever interested you can go ahead and purchase it so before we move ahead in the video let's have a quick and closer look at both the rackets Now if we talk about the making of the frame and the shaft um, of the Yonix Astrox Smash uh, they are actually made of high modulus graphite and nano mesh neo. Now nano mesh neo is a material that is uh, that you will find across most of the Astrox series rackets. So this has been induced in the shaft to make uh, the shaft more durable. Uh, now there is another thing that the shaft of this racket is slim. It is around 6.8 uh, or 6.9 uh, mm that's all. uh and it has a g4 grip so when you hold the racket and try to swing it you know it feels very nicely balanced the g4 grip uh the slimmer shaft and that head heavy uh and the overall uh, weight of the racket is just about 73 grams i feel that it is nicely balanced now if we talk about the make of the frame and the shaft of the leaning 3900 super light um they made of ultra high carbon graphite which is actually a military grade material so that is why it is comparatively a uh, little more durable and it uh, can take uh, higher tensions of up to 32 lbs having said that uh, the thickness of the shaft is uh, just about 7 mm which is more than the yonix astrox smash 
However, uh, leaning say that it is an ultra thin shaft, but I don't think it is an ultra thin shaft. It is just the regular shaft. I would say just a, just a couple of millimeters lesser than the regular shaft. But uh, the grip here is S1, which is uh, uh, considered to be as G1, G2 in Yonex uh, or Apex. Now, thinking that S1 grip for a lighter racket as uh, as leaning 3900 is 78, 79 grams. Initially, I thought that you know uh, a G3, G4 should have been. Uh, okay but you know when you uh, hold the racket in your hands with that s1 grip seven millimeter shaft and the balance of the racket is very precise i would clearly say that the balance of this racket uh, is better than the yonex airstroke smash and coming back to that s1 grip i would say that s1 grip with this light racket you know it actually complements complements the entire racket and the balance is nicely distributed all over the racket so we are down to the performance of both the rackets and uh, before we start that let me tell you see both the rackets are are a gem and uh, but they belong to different categories so they have a different gameplay and different kind of players would opt so one might be inferior in one aspect and can be uh, superior in another one so that does not mean that you know uh, one racket is uh, superior or one is inferior or one is good or one is bad they both have their own qualities for different uh, fields and uh, different kind of play. Now, if we talk about the control of the Yonex Astrox Smash, it is a very decent uh, racket around the net and the center of the court. Uh, especially those cross nets, uh, net drops, net pushes, repulsion, quick movement, defensive. These are the fields where Astrox Smash is exceptional and so is the leaning 3900. Now the players who should opt for the Yonex Astrox Smash would be the ones who like to be in fast rallies, involving rallies, uh, who have good reflex action, um, who have agility, uh, who have good arm power, I would say good arm power, a good technique are the ones who would uh, love to own this racket. Now this is very much similar on the leaning 3900 but uh, leaning 3900 being a little heavier and the designing of that racket is as I told you that it is better than the Yonex Astro Smash. So you can just put in um, a reasonable amount of power, not an extra effort, a reasonable amount of power with, um, with your technique and third line clear would be very easy. Now if we talk about the level of both the rackets, um, then both the rackets are intermediate level rackets. But um, Yonex Astro Smash is something that should be used by players who mostly play doubles. Uh, fast rallies as I've mentioned before it is I would say strictly not strictly but I would say doubles is the best uh, for Yonex Astro Smash uh, singles is something I would not recommend definitely if you have good arm power and technique you can definitely use it but I would still uh, stick to doubles uh, game and uh, if you talk about the leaning 3900 doubles yes it's a tick mark you can definitely go for doubles but for singles let me tell you see it is 79 grams without the string and the basic grip and the grip is thinner we know that so an average hand would uh, would you know would might have to roll on an extra grip grip on to that racket and the string so which makes around five to six grams heavier this racket would reach around 85 grams which is on the verge of 3u and 4u so for me uh, my experience is this racket is uh, pretty much uh, ideal for uh, the singles uh, play as well just a little bit of effort and you will be able to clear the third line so my final take on this comparison is that uh, the leaning uh, feels more balanced i would say um, all the all the parts of the of the racket are you know they complement each other much better as compared to uh, the astrox smash okay this is something when we compare both the rackets individually they are uh, they are a gem and they have their own plus and minus but when we compare because we know that the astrox uh, smash is lighter than the 3900 so definitely uh, there will be um, some differences between the two rackets then the second thing i liked about the leaning 3900 which was a plus point over uh, the smash was that when you hold this racket you have that sense of confidence and durability when you hold it you swing it so if you want to know uh, the suitable strings and the performance chart of both the rackets uh, here are the links where you can uh, check out their individual videos uh, for more details if we talk about the strings uh, both the rackets can take almost all kind of strings it is just the tension that uh, on the smash is just about 28 lbs 
so that was my experience with the, these rackets and i'm sure you have your own experiences good or bad if you own the racket or you've played with this racket do share in your experiences in the comment section until then stay safe stay healthy watch healthy videos stay away from corona and have a good day